I have had a revelation. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far from the east, west, south, and north. They're coming to this place at this time. Is no accident. No. No they bring word of more camps, like the one to the south, which we have purged. Right. Yeah. Camps filled with degenerates, thieves, drug addicts, and murderers. We are threatened, all of us, every day. We live in the shadow of death. Yeah. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. No, it's not. They are part of God's plan. They are part of God's punishment. No. No. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. It is our fellow. Yes, sir. Like Noah, before us, we have built an ark to save mankind, to save all the knowledge, so when the flood waters recede, we may rebuild. But in this age, here at the end of the world, God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. There will be no baptism of water. No. In this last age, we are the flood. We are sent forth to baptize the world with fire. Today, we begin a holy war against all those who have brought down the wrath of Seek out the depraved and cleanse. Right, this is John, come in. Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Done. Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, and Militia Camp. You've disabled the RPGs? Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. O'Brien out. Gotta get to the RPGs. Where would they be? Oh, the towers. It's gotta be the towers. That's right. Hey, Keep moving. Speech. Move it against other camps. Jesus, that's harsh. Find me some grub while you're out. Yeah. Right. Come on, you son of a bitch. That'll do it. I gotta get to Sarah. Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, come in. Damn it. Hang on, I'm coming. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the order... <laughs> Make sure we're clear. Oh, good. You're clear. Okay. That's the plan. I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards everywhere. Do you trust me? Well, Brian. I'm here. We're heading up to the cone. We got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close, and if we see anyone. Hey. In case you didn't read my note. Wait, so who's O'Brien? How's he getting us out of here? 
I told you O'Brien is how I found you. He was the Nero soldier who was there that night, the night that I put you on that chopper. Nero? Come on, oh, shit, that Weaver. No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private, are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man. That canister, right there. Up! I don't want to see that canister fall. Holy shit, he let us go. Weaver let us go. Oh shit, more guards. Okay, hold here. Hey, come on. Let's go around them. Okay. So, Brian, the guy in the Nero chopper, he's coming here? Yeah, look. It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we get clear. Wait, so they're still flying? I mean, God, Deacon, they must have resources, labs, equipment? Well, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they do. Look, you can ask O'Brien when you see him. Another guard. Hold on. I'll distract him. Yeah, I'll be careful. Sorry, man. This area is off limits. How dare you talk back to an officer? Do you know the penalty for disobeying an order? Do you know that we have hanged? Hey, what? Is... <laughs> nice. Another guard. I'll see if I can get them to move. Yeah, I'll be careful. Well done. Come on. We're almost there. I can't wait to see Boozer again. You, uh, you want to go with me? To Lost Lake, I mean? I mean, I, th I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. I don't know, it's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Wait, I'll distract him. Ma'am, this is restricted. Are you questioning me, soldier? Wait, what? Let's... Good work. Not so bad yourself. I can see daylight. Come on, we're almost out. Yeah, okay, this is it. We're at the cone. Where's it? Where is he? Where's O'Brien? Oh, he'll be here. He'll be here. We just, uh, oh, need to... Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant. I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! He's a murderer run. and a spy. Why would you, you listen to him over me? You, you know I am not. Mark, the leader of that camp, Lost Lake, oh, sent him here. Full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you, he is a spy. Oh, Matt, this guy's mm -hmm. crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. Lieutenant, he comes out of nowhere, lying. and you're going to believe what, him? What's that you camp you're saying I'm from? You think I'm lying? Is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. 
Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Kuri, I forget, is that the 8th or the 9th commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are Lord you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. It's some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog, chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel, this shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn it. You wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you? Deacon St. John. You hide behind angelic names of the and clothe yourself in lies! He got kicked out you of You are Julius! Of it. And what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise, I haven't been- More lies! I expect this from drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! What did the officer- Colonel! It was me! Uh, it was me! Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check his shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait. Who is this? Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. I'm sorry, my dear. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri, take this drifter to lock up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial, and he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know. Lieutenant! Please. Come on. Get up. Uh. Good. I thought I heard you breathing. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hadn't broken you yet. <clears throat> okay. Why? Tat on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains? Not something you see every day. <clears throat> I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name? 
It ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time? Trying to find her? Yeah. You just asked me why. <laughs> Pretty simple, really? The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a row. Boy, wait, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The Colonel is batshit crazy. <sighs> Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well then, what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. Well, you can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. Why? Well, they spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you. Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Corey. When I told the Colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if... if I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late. 